Today, great success. I make a kickstart. Oh, here we go. I t Zen Kai Zen High Performance Stand Up Paddle. Holy shit, what the hell does that mean? Take your sup. What the fuck's a sup? Take your sup experience to a new level of performance and efficiency with the new Kai Zen Paddle by Blue Pla What the hell is. Hold on, I need, oh, we need to see this. Okay. Kai Zen, a Japanese business philosophy of continuous improvement of working practices, personal efficiency. Oh, so this should be super efficient. Are we watching a movie or are we, can you get on with the shit? Let's go. Okay. Aloha, this is Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf. Thank you for checking out our new Kickstarter. Okay, sir, I don't know if you know this or not, but you don't use a surfboard like a canoe, okay? Well, that's, rid that's ridiculous. What the hell do you think you're doing, sir? You, you surf on it. That's not how you do it. What? That's not a boat. You don't need a paddle with a surfboard. I don't remember any surfer ever carrying a paddle with them when they go surfing. What are you doing? Your campaign for our killer new Kaizen paddle. We're super stoked about this paddle. Really? I mean, it looks like a fucking paddle to me. I, don't, I mean, good job. It's got many unique features. So <laughs> many unique features. Yes, it can paddle water and what else? What else can it do? Check it out. You didn't tell me one damn thing. I asked one simple question. Tell me the features. Nothing. I came up with more features than you did, and I only came up with one. I hate that music. What is that? <laughs> is this a joke? Like, what? Uh, he may be, he actually, he's, Blue Planet may not be a bad name for this company, because they're definitely not living on this planet. There must be on some other fucking planet. Where the hell is... And he's still paddling a surfboard. Like, why wouldn't you use this and show how great it works with a kayak, a canoe... Something that uh, you normally use a paddle for. You don't use a paddle with a surfboard. That's like, that's backwards, sir. What are you? And why is the camera under the damn water? We can't see shit here. Look at this. This is terrible. Who did the filming for this video? This is actually our second campaign. Our first one a couple years ago, we were doing inflatable stand-up paddle boards. Oh, that would be uh, uh, inflatable paddle but why would you... another thing you know that we already have those they're pool rafts but i don't think you want an inflatable one of these because you can't stand on them or anything that's what it just gets more ridiculous and strange as it as it goes thanks to everyone who supported us in that campaign uh, this is my original prototype it's a real rough prototype really i mean i don't know how much more how, how better you can make a fucking paddle, but uh, it looks finished to me. And um, I've used it in the Molokai race this year, and uh, I've been testing it a bunch, so it's kind of seems to have used. What the hell is the Molokai? Who's this guy? He makes them? What the fuck is all this mess in the back here, man? Holy shit! <laughs> It's like it's fucking. <laughs> I thought we were watching hoarders. Holy shit! This guy's making the paddles. Just one guy. I like snakes from native living country. <laughs> he said. He said. <laughs> this isn't right, bro. That paddle's finished, bro. It's already painted and everything. What's he sanding? Come on, man. It should be at least a paddle that's not done yet. You're sanding one that's perfectly finished. So 
systems help make make the original sample. So having having the design on a 3D file is really nice because then it allows. Oh god damn it! Don't tell me you 3D print this son of a bitch. Allows you to make small changes to the to the curves of the paddle, the exact shape, um, you know, the outline and the the profile and everything. Oh my god! It's a paddle, sir. It's a god dang paddle. What is happening here? Oh, traditional paddle construction. Okay, let's see how terrible. Traditional um, paddle is always made with three parts. It's a, a, the blade at the bottom, handle at the top, and usually the blade and the handle, these two. Oh my God. Are you explaining a paddle to us, sir? I think we've all seen a paddle. Not all of us have probably used them, but we know what a damn paddle is. You don't have to explain a goddamn paddle. Parts are molded parts. And then the shaft itself is um, basically carbon rolled on a mandrel and, and then pressed and rolled in. What did you say? Carbon wool man, man, mammoth? What, did you just make up a word there, mandrel? What the hell was that? Never heard of that. Machines. We just saw the guy that does the construction, okay? He was sanding the shit. It has a, a blade part, middle part, and a handle part. You, you said this already. You already told us it had three parts. The blade part, the middle part. The, you don't, why are you saying it again? All three parts are molded parts. So there's no um, rolled mandrel part. These are all molded. So by doing that, we're able to incorporate features that um, usually you can't uh, do on a paddle. So it's easy to take it apart. And oh my God, he's using a glue gun. You're, you're putting this together with a glue gun? Oh. <laughs> Sir, what the hell? No, that's, you can't, and you're gonna use that in the water? Glue guns, just so you know, the glue is not very strong. It's usually for home projects and shit. You don't want to put it on your damn paddle. And, uh, and travel with it as well. So, you know, basically travel, shipping it, and so on makes, it makes it much easier to have that three equal sized pieces and not a long shaft in the middle. Also makes it, um, uh, makes That's easier. too much glue. See? You, you, too much, sir. Look at that. And now you fucked up the whole thing. We can't sell it like that. That's why that guy was sanding it. Because this guy keeps putting too much fucking glue on him. That's what he was sanding off. The glue. Switch out components. If, if something breaks, you can just replace one part of it instead of the whole paddle. With your support, we'll be able to make this really cool new paddle a reality. So we're counting on you to help us out. Aloha, see you on the water, and hopefully with the new Kaiser. No, no, never, sir. Never. Until, until you show me, tell me the features, and show me how this works with a boat, even a little rowboat, something that uses a paddle. Is this, is this not a surfboard? Am I getting this wrong? It looks like a damn surfboard. And paddle. Thank God he's got that safety leash on. Didn't want to fall the fuck off there and drown. <laughs> He's fast, man. That, that, I mean, this is ridiculous, man. That thing goes like so slow. I can swim faster than this fucking thing. With, even with the pad, your special paddle, I'll fucking swim faster than that. We'll have a race. Look at how slow that shit is. That's ridiculous. Oh, watch out. He's getting up to two miles per hour, guys. And the music... <laughs> Music is so terrible. Who selected that? And off into the paddle, the Zen paddle. Why is it? A, why didn't even call it Zen paddle? That didn't. You're supposed to say, sir, when you mark something as Zen, it's supposed to make us relax, put us to sleep, something. You know, it doesn't do any of that. So what? why is it a zen? Why is it... You... Okay. You know... Why is it still playing? Stop it. Stop it, you. Oh, God. That's just... I don't know what's happening anymore. Zen key organizer... That looks ridiculous. What? Do more with let. Oh, it's got a video. Then we go. We're going. We're doing it. Zen advanced. Dual sided. Holy shit. 
I thought it was one-sided. It got us dual-sided. One-handed opening. So basically, what you're telling me is what you did here, is you took a Swiss army knife and removed all of the blades and put keys in there. That's what this is, right? This is a Swiss, Swiss army key, key holder. Did we really need this? And how are you going to know which one is the right key? Because on my keys, I identify which key I need to use by the shape of it. And I can easily, when I put my hand in my pocket, grab the exact key I need, and boom! I'm never fiddling around with the keys like, oh shit, which one is the car? Which is... And just so you know, most keys are not like that, okay? I mean, I guess most still are, but car keys are not like that. You're definitely not putting your car key on there because they're all fucking big and bulky now, so you can't even use this for car key. So, of course, they've managed to find some car key from the 1980s to fit on here. That's probably the smallest car key you'll ever get. So, you can only put one on one car key on this. And uh, uh, that takes up the whole one side. And then the other side has to be ridiculous. Wouldn't that thing hit... Hit the damn, look like it almost hit the turnstile up there. Didn't, don't want that. Oh, and it has a thing, includes key ring for everything else. <laughs> so, so, I gotta use a key ring anyway. Like I was saying, what the shit? What's the purpose of this then? If I got, if it can't do everything I need it to do, why, why would I need that? I just use a key ring. Ridiculous. Doesn't that defeat the whole damn purpose of the damn device? Oh, I've made a new thing that holds keys. Oh, cool. I was having a problem keeping track. And and it holds a key ring, so you can put keys on that. What? A key holder that holds a key ring that holds keys? Yes. USB. Oh, God dang it. USB version available. Why would I need a USB on my keys? He's tying this to his shoe. He's tying, he's tying it to the shoe. That's where I would keep my keys. I would entrust them to be tied to my shoelace. Pockets? You, pockets are no good anymore? We got to put shit on our shoes now? Is this, is this the only way it works? Yeah, that's real secure. It's not going to be annoying as shit at all having that on your foot. Do you not know that Exercise pants, most of them have zippers for pockets. Do you not know this concept, sir? That is so you can have a phone or keys in your pocket now, and you just zip the pocket up so it doesn't come out. Or here's a thought, maybe put the fucking keys somewhere else. I'm definitely not tying my keys to my shoe. Yeah, it's Swiss Army Key. Basically, what I said. That's exactly what it is. And you just keep at holy shit, dude. Look at how many. Do you, do you give us a bigger? How many screws do we get with this? Does it come with one little one? We gotta buy our own every time we put a damn key in this shit. Two to twenty-two key, dude. That is like. That's like almost brass knuckles at this point. <laughs> like, that's, no. Four style. You're not, I mean, that's not really four styles. That's four colors, right? It's not really changing. I, God damn it. Don't you tell me it has a bottle opener. Don't you? Uh... It has a bottle opener! Oh my.
my God. That's how you know it's trash. Any gadget someone tries to sell to you that has one of the functions is a bottle opener, don't buy it. <laughs> it's garbage. That we were that was the big lead up to the whole thing was watch this. They think it's just for keys. Watch this shit. Boom! Bottle opener. Oh god dang it. How much the holy shit? $22 for that thing? Ah. Uh, that's nothing zen about that.